Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm, I'm hanging in the garden today, checking my beans to see if the aphids are off my plants because I saw them yesterday. I see a little, oh yeah, come on over baby. I see a um, pollinator. I see the pollinators and I'm loving it because I got cucity cumbities coming up. I have cucumbers. I see them now popping through and I'm feeling great about it. I've got a couple projects I'm trying to do out here today. Um, I gotta finish out the, the walkway, which I'm gonna do. I've got some weeding to do. I've got some beans coming up, living my best life, feeling great. But I do wanna make sure that I don't have any more aphids because I had some yesterday and um, I sprayed them down real good, but I'll be right back out here spraying again because I'm not playing with nobody. They're not about to get mine. Mm -mm. Okay, so lots and lots of weeds. I've got to do a lot of weeding in here. Uh, back there as well, there's just a ton of weeds. And unless you put down weed barrier, you're going to have weeds. I have some carrots coming up, but I also have weeds in there. So I got to be able to distinguish between my carrots and my weeds. I can tell um, all of this will be mowed down. All of this back here, all of this is coming down. Um, because I don't want all of that stuff back there, but I do have sunflowers coming up. I don't really like weeds of any kind. It makes me feel like my garden is not going to be productive the way I want it to be. And so I've got to be very careful not to pull up the sunflowers that I planted, but all of this is coming down. A sister got me a weed eater for Christmas. I don't meant for Mother's Day. And so I'm going to come around and weed in here. I've got to find a, a stake for this tomato to stake that up it's really getting to the point where i need to pull garlic and i also have some carrots in here i'm gonna pull but we are um pulling carrots on saturday for the jam party so i don't want to pull up too much first um, i've got some weeds in here that i need to weed out um, my beans and my green stalk are just not doing very well but my peppers are doing good so um, oh there's some there's some beans coming. It's just, they get a little dry. I'm gonna have to um, water it a little bit more often for the beans. But again, the peppers, you see, I've got jalapenos coming. I've got jalapenos coming. So they're doing okay, it's just the beans, which it just doesn't love this green stalk. So, I have to figure that out for next time. I just won't plant beans in the green stalk, but I was trying to get as much into anything as I could. I think this is just a weed. Now that I'm looking, I think that's just a weed. I'm gonna pull that out as well. Got a little bit of weeding to do in here, but we put beans and all kinds of stuff in here. But I do know for sure I do have some weeds in here. Um, Carrots in here are good. I'm actually gonna get the... um the water system going in here and um because it looks like some of my pepper plants need water so i'm going to see if we can't get the water going to get some of my pepper plants watered i've got a weed all through here but again i got my new weed eater and so i do have some tomatoes in there that are starting to to blush and bloom and i'm going to go in and pull some of those out so I think what I'm going to do, oh, I've got color over here on tomatoes as well. I've got color down here. Look at that. I've got yellow ones. Oh, these are yellow. They're going to be yellow. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Die. Die in Jesus' name. You will not. And I mean it. Will not. Oh, look. Tell you my truth. Oh, something got my dog on tomato. Okay, that's all right. I got something for you too. I'm about to come in here. Don't worry. Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing gonna be all right. Okay, I'm gonna move this waterer over here. There we go. See if I can't get some more of these peppers weeded. I meant watered. Because it's real dry over here. 
So I'm going to try to get, um, I may have to come out and do some hand watering, but that's okay as well. Mama, get out of there. Oh, I got a, nope. Oh yeah, look, that's called a Big Bertha. Look at that one, got one. All right, and I have lots of flowers. So I'll take it, right? And my um, <sighs> banana peppers do well, but I did pick those. And so, oh, 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 look, I got pepper, I got tomatoes. Look it, look it, tomatoes, hello, how are you? I'm very nice. Oh, these are turning red. Oh, look, there's um, jalapeno. These are turning red. I think I'm gonna have to get these off. I can't remember what they are though. Can't for the life of me remember what I planted. But they're turning red, whatever they are. Where's my little, normally I keep a little name thing by it, but I can't remember. This hurts my feelings, but anywho, I'm gonna come over, get some watering going. Beans are coming up nice. <gasps> Look, this is what I have always wished and hoped is that they would take off up and down the trellis. So next year, this will be all beans, cucumbers. I won't plant anything over here other than beans and cucumbers. So I'm gonna get the water going so I can get um, a few of these uh, things watered. All right, y'all, so it is several days later. I actually put my boots on. Gotta get some work done outside in the garden. And so I'm coming outside to uh, get ready for that. Sister got me a weed eater, and so I'm gonna live my best weed eater life. And I'm gonna try to make some arrangements or move some stuff in. Um, now I'm not exactly sure how my son got this going here, but something tells me. Anywho, I'm gonna sit you guys up on a tripod and just have y'all come along with me. Just a little bit of work I gotta do. And then I'm gonna try to get um, some watering done and all those types of things. I figured if I'm gonna garden, then I need to give it my best effort every single day. And so there's some things I need to get done in the garden that have remained undone and it is summer break. I got three more days of work and we doing all the things. So anywho, let me get you guys set up on a tripod and come along with me while I work in the garden.
we don't even have to drag them out. Just unhook. We just need to unhook them from there and whip them through the hole. Right, y'all. So I thought I'd show y'all what the kids and I were able to get done out here in the yard from yesterday. So these are, uh, this is the greenhouse. This is the entrance into the garden. And the greenhouse used to be way back over there. And I would have to go all the way over there to get my things. Well, I don't have time for that. I need to be able to get my things here, right? So there's two more of these little um, things I'm going to move here in the front and then i'll put a third one here but i gotta build that up a little bit more with a little bit more dirt so i have to find some dirt from somewhere so these two are moving right so mr jerome will have a like a clean line when he comes through to edge and stuff and so he did not cut grass last week because we were at the wedding and i didn't want to leave my fence open so he'll be back in to cut grass very soon but this is the greenhouse i like it better now that pet gear thing is going out. We found a cat in my garden. The kids found it. I did not find it. And so um, we put it in that just to try to keep mom away from it. But what I told Jackson was I said, if we keep that cat locked up, the mom may come back for it because it was a little kitten. So let it go. And it was stayed around for a little while at night. But then it, I guess the mom came back for it. And um, so she did take it away. Okay. Mr. Jerome moved that for me because he had it up here. But because the door was off a little bit, we couldn't close it. So he moved it down. So now I can close the garage. Okay. All right. Back here, I did go through and did weeding. They said that the kitten was back there somewhere. So I think the mom was just transporting it and whatever the case was and it just um you know l dropped it there for whatever s reason i think it was coming back for it but anyway i put in new beans but these beans right there's beans on here i try to pick these often so that i can get more beans right i'm trying to have a prolific bean harvest but i am fighting these little beetle things and i'm gonna win oh we, they will not win um my beans do have to be picked see these have beans on them so i don't have to come through here and pick now i've planted all kinds of beans so i can't tell you what kind is what kind i can just tell you i have beans right and i want to keep picking them so that they will keep growing so i can put up some dilly beans um down here my tomatoes are coming in nicely they are blushing in very pretty we did go and we weeded out all of this back here. Now today, well probably today, tomorrow maybe, I'm going to come through and cut down all these weeds through here. Because we had um, pollinators growing. And I'm probably just going to buy some more um, pollinators to put in these um, cinder blocks is what I, what I keep that for. But I do have sunflowers coming up. All my sunflowers are coming up which are beautiful. I love sunflowers. Next year, I'm going to plant a lot of them. Um, so we did get all of this 
weeding done. Today, though, we are pulling garlic and we're gonna pull carrots for some recipes. Uh, I'm gonna check over here because these beans are just giving me a time. My, my bean plants just don't look good here, but they have produced some beans. So I'm leaving them. I got new growth coming right there, right? So I have to do better at planting out this green stalk for next year. I think it just needs lots more water. Um, okay, down here, still just more weeds that I got to get out. These are all weeds, all weeds. But these are beans. So the beans are coming. And finally, finally, my Swiss chard is coming in. Because I put in chard all down here. I double planted it. Didn't come up the first time. But I do have some coming. So I'll take it. But we have to make sure that we extra water. It's hot here in North Carolina. I have some radishes that are bolting that we're going to get out of here. But then I have all of this empty space. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six watermelon. I took two out the other day trying to um, weed. That might be another one. That might be seven. But I've got all this extra space. So over here, I think I'm going to come in and do some radishes. Because radishes grow pretty fast. I've got a sunflower coming up there. I didn't know that I put one in there. Maybe it fell in. But a sunflower. See, I should probably have put all of these. Made those all sunflowers. Next year, though. All those will be sunflowers. And I do have a sunflower coming up here. And one here. There's one coming there and one there. So I planted those at different times, but they are coming up. And then here is my tomato and pepper bed. I don't know. I've got a feed probably today, but my peppers aren't doing as good as they have done in the past. Although my tomatoes are coming in very nice. I do have marigolds in there. I've got marigolds. I've got basil in here. Probably going to have to come in and cut the basil, top the basil. This one needs to be topped right here for sure. Um, my nasturtium is doing okay. We need to water. Uh, my pepper plants are growing, but they're not really like... I don't know why this nasturtium is down. Probably because my son and this hose. It's probably the water hose. Okay. And we tried to water very well over here yesterday because we noticed that over here was not getting watered as well. Now, I have pulled all the weeds, or as many of them as I could get. We've got to lay cardboard here to put out more mulch, right, so that we don't have to deal with all the grass, right? So I've got to put cardboard here. And then yesterday, we put cardboard down here. I've got to put some more mulch here but we got mulch all throughout here way okay just to get and there was a lot of weeds in here I pulled out there was a kind of one of these here but I felt like somebody might get hurt on that so I pulled this whole thing out we moved the greenhouse to open up this part of the garden we are keeping our tools here and Mr. Lizard is there very good so we we'll keep we usually keep a plastic bag over these so the rain. There's my garden trash can. I've recycled that. And then over here, of course, we have the cardboard that we're going to use in here. And then our two garden tables. Sister is going to go and pick me up some more mulch. And so we'll be able to finish the mulching out. I spent a lot on mulch. But I'm really trying to get these weeds together. The one thing that I don't love is this empty space right here because I don't want to have empty spaces. If I have a garden, I want to plant things. And then that whole bed right there with the garlic and the uh, carrots is getting pulled today because we're going to need those uh, carrots for a recipe. Look at that lavender. Isn't that beautiful, lavender? Wish I had more of this all over the place. I'm trying to see if I have any plants come, I mean, any peppers coming. I don't see any, so I'm going to go through and we're going to feed. I do have pepper buds, but I don't have peppers yet. I do have something that's bolted over here. I don't know what it is. 
radish maybe. See this growing a flower, which shouldn't be in there. Radish. So we'll come through, pick all those. Oh, there's another. Um, so you gotta get in here because you can't always see. But there's a banana pepper. Here's one. Pull that one. And I have pollinators. So I love to see bees. Bees make me happy. So other little things I don't like to see, but bees I'll take. So anywho, y'all, that's the garden as of right now. I'm going to turn the water on so I can hopefully get something, uh, get this, get it a little bit more wet. And then, of course, I have those little pests that are eating up my plants. But I'm not playing with them neither. Because I'll, I'll go hard for my plants. You're not about to eat my beans, sir, ma'am. I've been coming through here. Jackson and I will come through with our... We did neem oil, and you can only do neem oil every, like, once a week. And so I had to come in here yesterday and just pick, hand pick off some of the pests, but I did get them off. And I'll just keep checking, right? They will not eat my garden. I'm going to eat from the garden this year.